a big connection. Sorry. No worries. So, <laughs> hey everyone. Um, distractions. Uh, I'm hungry, so that's my main distraction now. <laughs> and intentions for the call, like the same. Uh, I would like to walk through the board, uh, show some front end updates to features that, that I've been developing the last week, and get some feedbacks from you guys. It would be really nice. I will pass to Lauren. Hey, everyone. Um, yeah, my intentions for the call are the same. Like, I'm happy that we're going to the board, and I want to see where I can jump in, like, every week. And um, my distractions are nothing, really. I'm going to take a bio break in a minute, but that's, that's going to be a second. Um, and I'll pass it to Marilyn. Hi, everyone. Um, so, no distraction for me. And uh, my intention is, like, pretty much like uh, the Fabio's one. And uh, just to, to show what I've done this week and maybe ask some questions and uh, to, to, to obtain your feedbacks on that. And I think that's it. Um, maybe, I don't know if I can pass to Marco. Yeah, 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 you can, yeah, you can pass to me now. <laughs> you okay? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I switched connection, it should be better now. Uh, okay. Yeah, intentions. Uh, intentions pretty much the same as you guys. Uh, getting updates, but specifically, I would like to go through the board and see what we can add from product backlog to the sprint backlog, and also what is in a review Q and A. Um, possibly close some issues, uh, and like Griff, uh, maybe set a date. Uh, distractions, none. I'm cool. Um, and yeah, we should be live streaming, Griff. <laughs> we're live <laughs> all right cool uh yeah um okay cool uh let's see so i think i have let me i wanted to ping danny but maybe lauren uh just I, I was looking at the notes from last week there's supposed to be some kind of radical exchange updates on the narrative maybe lauren you could just tell us any updates on the narrative and especially if you know anything about radical exchange feedback I'm not sure if Danny talked with them yet, actually. Um, I know she's out for the day, but I can check in with her later this afternoon. Okay, cool. Uh, any other updates on the narrative side? Um, well, just that we added, I added like in the Figma a bunch of like tool tips um, that were, I think, gonna help to make the flow a little bit better. And yeah, so. Okay, cool. Well, then let's pass it to uh, front end. Uh, Fabio, do you uh, want to start? And then we'll pass it to Merlin. Any updates or uh, work to show off? Sure. I will share my screen. So. Oh, and I should say there was a lot of requests to go through the board. So uh, while I love all the updates, it's really fun. We should keep them pretty fresh, quick. <laughs> okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, sure. So I've been working on these issues on the last week, but I would like to focus on two of them. So the major updates that I have, it's related to these two issues. So the first one is this one, uh, add more interesting information to the front end. So Marcus um, made a design and I implemented this on the front end. Oh, oh, sorry, I can't, oh, shit. I can't change my tab. What's going on? Here, okay, sorry. So here we have the, the design that Marco made. Now we have the, the params that the user selected. And also we have the results of the simulations. Besides having the, the shards, we, are, we also have the participants, the total proposals, the active proposals, and etc. So looks nice, Marco. Do you have any feedbacks? Nice, okay, cool. So, and the, the second issue that I would like to talk about is this one. So Marco asked me to make a, a pause on top feature on the introduction slides, but I thought it would be nice to make something like uh, Instagram stories or Twitter fleets. 
like the users uh, know how to deal with them and then it would be nice to to add this feature because they would like to feel at home so let me show you guys loading enter watch introduction so now we have a, a progress bar at the top and it shows how much of the the introduction that i i've seen and like the insta stories and then twitter tweets i can go back and forward by clicking on the right or left side so i can click here and go a lot forward and i can click i could click here and go a lot backward to the beginning and the last feature that's uh, actually what Marco uh, asked is to tap and, and pause. So if I hold my, my mouse button, it's paused. And it works on the, on the mobile as well. That's it. Uh, just to give audio to the crowd. Holy fucking shit. That is amazing. That is fucking amazing, dude. That's beautiful. Thank you. Marco, do you have any comments? No, I was just doing my little dance here. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Fabio. You're the best. Thank you. So that's it. I stop sharing. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is really nice. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Merlin. <laughs> yeah, so I think I, I, I will quit the call, uh, the call and <laughs> just leave <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Re really good job. Um, I just wanted to share my screen and to uh, so I can show you my work on uh, tooltips that uh, Lauren uh, provide me the, the content, etc. And show and tell told me here you have to, to put the tooltip, etc. So yeah, I, I will share. Sorry, where can I share my screen? <laughs> uh, where, where is the, the button to, to it should share? Should be in the bottom. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's the green one, the <laughs> the biggest one. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, yeah, looks great. Uh, so, um, sorry, I up and I will rerun the entire. Um, so I have some question because in fact, uh, if I don't put the underlying text, uh, the user will not see and that there is um, a tooltip or something like that. So here it's just a link. So when it's a link, it's, a, it's just a link. But here you have a normal tooltip. Um, you can have some comments about the design. If I, if you, you think I should remove the, uh, the underlying text, or something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, Merlin, I yeah. just commented on the Figma uh, and replied there. I think we should remove the link to the radical exchange at this stage because, like, users just started with uh, with the simulator, and we don't want him to go to the radical exchange. Actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I will. I, I would that. want to do that. Um, so I would. I prefer. I prefer to remove any outside links right now. Uh, and keep just the tooltips. Uh, yeah. Okay. But um, in fact, it's not. Uh, it's a blank uh, link, so uh, the user is redirected yeah. to a novel tool tab. So for the, I mean, there's some um, example with. Um, I mean, um, it's medium post blog post. And maybe it's interesting. I don't know. To to keep them. I'm uh, I'm I'm, I'm against I'm against that link uh, at the beginning of the of the simulator, uh, especially okay. when I, I'm I, I wouldn't I would include any external links at this stage. Okay. So I I, I think this one is another. So I okay. 
I will remove all the external link. Yeah. Okay. I I, I, I would remove all external links. Definitely. Yeah. It's okay. too much distraction uh, for, for the user and then like going somewhere oh. with something. I mean, yeah. I'd rather leave that sure. for some some later stage whenever they want to do explore what radical exchanges, what comments are, or you know, read more about it. I mean, that's up to them. They're here to, okay. to do, play the game and to design their comments. And I want to focus them on that. So okay. that's that's yeah. what I would prefer to do. Mm, agree. And, okay. And then just on the other topic of the uh, tool tips, do you like the underline, Marco? Yeah, I think the underline is for now is okay. I would rather make them a different color or maybe uh, bold or something like that. Uh, yeah. But for now, for now, let's keep them underlined uh, since we have a lot of uh, places where we have that text. So I need to look at it. Yeah. And see if we're going to. Yeah. And uh, then there are some tool tips. Uh, I've, I encounter an issue about tool tips because uh, when I put that at, um, as target of the tool tip is not redirected to the world. So I'll try to, to find another way, but it seems that the library I use is not mm, working uh, for that. But then uh, when you click on more info, you're redirected to the help model. So and if I may was... quickly here, uh, yeah. on this one, the more info you can make that button much smaller or even make it just a, bu um, a button. Like moving. that? Like that, uh, the help and exit button. Uh, uh, I mean, the, like, the same style. No, they're like, oh, yeah, the you mean the yeah, uh, one, hold on a second. You're, oh, the help and exit, yeah, exactly, help, exactly. Read yeah. more, exactly. Just in, in fact, I, I put that uh, earlier and I, I <laughs> uh, don't know what style to, to put that. So, okay, I will change that. It's not, uh, not a big deal. Just like and yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, so it's okay, and uh, I will try to go to the resume page. So there are plenty of uh, link uh, now. Oh, um, connection. Oh, that's connection. just nice. I really like the tooltip concept and and uh, execution here for like. Okay. Getting because no one's going to click that help button in the corner, you know. But it's like they might scroll over a word and be like, What is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, and okay. I, I, I change, well, I change a little bit because here it was not consistent. Uh, the text here was not consistent with my uh, the overall tooltips. So I changed that. And in, when here now you have tooltips. Oh, at the nice. end, and after the uh, running the simulation, you have the same tooltips. So it's basically uh, what I've done. And now, uh, thanks to, to your feedbacks, and we'll adapt to, to that. And uh, uh, maybe Fabio who would be able to, to review my peer. Uh, that, that's it. If you have uh, any comments on the tool tips uh, stuff and text uh, i don't know you can uh, you can change some stuff on the figma i put comments or i don't know i think it's marco, okay oh uh, well marco and merlin what is the best way to uh, go back and forth on the on the adjustments yeah so f for now i think merlin understands that there should be I will remove all outside uh, external links and we change the read more button with just yeah. a look. And that's basically it. Everything else uh, can remain the same uh, for now. So I think we're good there. Uh, Merlin, those two issues, and that's it. Okay, I'll change that and it uh, should be okay. Mm -hmm. Dude, Merlin, thanks for being like the wizard behind all the tool tips, man. Like <laughs> it's gonna be huge for people to actually understand what the hell is going on in this system because like, not, not so easy. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not. And there's a lot of tool tips. There's a lot of crazy concepts. So uh, thanks for taking that on, man. It's a huge one. Uh, um, any other comments or questions on front end? Okay, Vitor, it's all you, buddy. Okay, I try to uh, promise to keep it brief because I usually too much. 
Let me, can you guys see my screen? Okay, so basically uh, we have uh, two issues that are concerning the backend. Like one was to get the good results, like the three good graphs, and the other was to to make the score like more, more of a game, right? It, it talk less uh, meeting about having like 65% of success radio kind of, so people don't get, uh, people get, it's challenging, but people get good results. But the, we had a blocker that was basically, it's hard, like takes times to run one simulation, like on a computer, it takes like three minutes. And I imagine that we don't need a good, uh, a big backlog of stuff. So basically, uh, Santi started saving the automatically saving the, the the all the inputs that we sent to the server there. So we have we had like 130 inputs in there with scores and stuff. But the, so I could just go there, get them, and analyze. Like my idea was analyze uh, what is our success radio now and have the data based on the current uh, model. So we had there saved all the inputs and the outputs are but like for different models like the we had all 120 inputs in there, but the outputs was like, were different by each time they, they spent. Cause like we had uh, inputs in there for a week or two weeks or three weeks that our results are not the same as this car right now. So they were not useful. So what I did was basically uh, got the server, got all the files down. So I got all the inputs and outputs, 120 outputs from the server. They are like, anyway, they, they are like, mm, Okay. Just curious, who got the 48? Who got the 48? The 48. score. Yeah, someone scored a 48. I didn't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but it was really, really bad. <laughs> like, we have, we had like many, many files. Each file was one, one input. So basically, what I did was I had to rerun this all in our, in our current mod of a scoring method because if you open here, like there are a few ones that don't have, they don't, don't even have the score. They have only graphs. Anyway, so we need. Ju I just needed to get the the inputs in here. So I just made a quick script, this script, to basically get all of them, like get all these files, get the the inputs, and make an API request to make them out. So I basically attack our server with 120 scores, as, as if I keep, keep like clicking there. It took me a while to get out the outputs but I got it. So they are in here. So I get all the 120 something files. So uh, we don't need to rerun it because now we have them in here and I made a quick analysis on the score. So now what you're gonna see is like a uh, histogram of the distribution of our score. Uh, all, all the inputs since we saved, but with the current score. And if I wanna change something, I can only change the score matrix and uh, press a button and get this back without touching the server. So like the hardest pass part was that, and now I can just keep fine tuning this, keep trying many different scores. So we get the, the like the success radio that we want. So basically I got them, we had like 125 inputs and of them like 107 are like unique. So they're not, they're like different and they're in here. So a histogram in here, basically the X axis is like the score. And the Y is like how many people got them. So if you guys see, we have a huge amount of people that got bad scores and uh, a lot of people, a uh, few people that got good. This is partly because uh, in the last updates, I I heavily added penalties. We were talk, talking to Santi and we were talking a lot about penalties. So I think we went way far on that, but it's good to know what is the distribution. And since we have like, Feel repeated, I just try to get the, oh, in here, I just have more granularity. It's like the same thing, but we just, like you're splitting, we have more X possibilities just to, to get sure, but anyway. And this is for unique. So basically we have many repeated scores in here and like might be some people keep pressing the same button, same, same scores many times, something like that. So yeah. even, yeah. Because uh, like the server has kind of a, it's kind of smart in this. When you do that in some way, it prevents this happening, like saving many people, but it can happen. But even changing this, like this is filtered. So this is considering only the 107 that are unique. We see that like between like 100 and 300, we have a lot of uh, uh, a good volume and then it goes down. So 
what's happening is like our penalties are taking things down to here, basically. Anyway, so I can get this data and keep iterating then and like getting something interesting. And our, and basically we have, I imagine that we have a line here. I could have plotted, but we have a line and everything from here below is like bad future. Our threshold is 500. So basically with 500, we have like 35% uh, of success rate. And if we change this for like, and we can play with it like, I don't like this. We could do like this, keep like changing this the threshold, but I don't like it because like, I think the good way is like, keep, I think 500 is good, it's like half, but then we can only play with this car matrix. That's my idea. So we have many inputs in there. And we, I can keep playing with them until I get one thing that is more balanced. And anyway, yeah, for like in this case, for we get like uh, the 65% kind of close, we had like to have a threshold less than 300. This tells us that our score is bad, like our penalties are bad, but the way they are doing, they are severe. And it's, it, it would be fine if we were trying to make a really hard game. And if you guys see, it should, be go, it should go to 1,000, so people cannot even get to 1,000. Anyway, this is what I got. So basically, the harder, like, this doesn't seem much, but the harder, hardest part was, like, rerunning everything in the server. And now since I have the, I have, like, I have all the shards. I have, like, the 120-something shards saved. So what I can do now is, like, just get them and replay the score, like, really quick and then get the, the good shards from that. I just don't want to get them right now because I want to get the score good, like the fine tune the score. When we have a good score, then get sure that we're getting the good shards from the good scores. And then I will like next week, I will, like during this, this week, I will do this thing, like fine tune the score. And then from the good scores, get some graphs and maybe we can do a pool for voting, which like I get some 10 of good graphs and show to you guys and you can vote on them. And on my part, that's it. Marco, were you were you here when we were talking about uh, how many people should get a good score? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like, is the 60%, does that still feel good? Like after a week, is that, that most people should succeed? Well, I guess so. I mean, I, as I said, I don't know. Uh, I'm much much into that mad thing. So, but obviously, I I think well, yeah, I think yes. Okay, cool. I just want to confirm. You know, sitting on it, I still could go either way. You know, I think we're just pulling an idea out of the air and going with it, which is yeah, great. yeah. <laughs> and like all these like optimization, Vitor, it's amazing. Like the yeah. stuff that you've done, like man, you're killing it. Yeah, man. And like we can, we can easily do, like since we have our like target, we can make many different parameters for each target. So we can have like parameters for 50, 70, 55. So in case we change idea and think, oh, I want a 50% of success radio, we can just change something. Can we grade on a curve? Is that a thing where, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you got a 300 score, but that means, well, on the curve, that's 500. Congrats, you know? Do you know what I mean? Do they do that in Brazil in school? Like where you have like, oh yeah, you know, you everyone failed the test except, well, actually. Oh, you normalize. Yeah, yeah, you normalize. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You can do that. We can do that. Like, yeah, we could. Uh, I, 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 I think that the problem is the penalties because I was really happy on that because we were talking a lot about that. But like if even this doesn't, doesn't help us, we can do that. Like, just change the the base for like a hundred is a thousand and yeah we can and normalize everything yeah we can. I thought just to get it back to the five hundred is like you know fifty percent and you know five hundred is uh, getting above five hundred is passing getting below five hundred is failing you know and then because sure. it, it definitely makes sense to people right it's like oh yeah well sure. out of a thousand I got below five hundred so yeah end of the world <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah for sure and just one, one thing that came to my mind i think we don't have anything explicit in the in the results page that's saying that the max is a thousand i don't know if we need to but just to don't get like when you get an m yeah we, we, we might don't need that just that's it marco did you have a thought on that do we need to explicitly say out of a thousand 
Yeah, I was just I was just actually looking at the at the Figma first. Hold on a second. Maybe that's not even a bad idea. Uh, just for like just for reference for the user, so that they know like what is the max, and what is like you know fifty percent, like you know, five hundred, and then okay, I'm I'm fifty percent from from the max, which I think is good. So maybe we could add like eight hundred, and then smaller. I'm gonna mock it up like slash out of thousand or something like that. Um, yeah, I think that would be okay. It's always we make like percentage, like eighty per like. Or that. Uh, well, it's more explicit if we add like eight hundred slash, you know, from from one thousand or something like that. It's more explicit, I think. So I'm gonna yeah. so that we don't make user think more. You're called Marco for sure. Uh, okay. okay. I will close my screen. Any other updates? Uh, from Vitor, like any Santi updates that you think are worth sharing? Mm, I don't think so. He just he helped me a little bit with the server, but I'm not sure if he worked in some specific. Uh, we have one issue in there about network edges, but I think it's finished. I just had to, to check with him. He was trying to do something, but I don't know if he finished that. But I don't have any, any anything else. Okay, cool. Then, uh, then let's dive into the board. Oh wait, does anyone else have any backend questions? Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, review QA, maybe we start there. I mean, congrats on all the closed issues. Nice work. Uh, but we reviewed most of these, so let's talk uh, review QA. Adding more interesting information to the front end, Marco? Or is there any of these that we want to especially give attention to? Uh, no, I just, hold on a second. I just, uh, you mean the reviews or in progress or sprint back? What were you referring to? Oh, I'm just starting at the, in, in the review column, starting at the review column. Oh yeah. We could, I think add more interesting information can be closed. Add tool tips can be closed. Uh, and I, I actually just created two more issues for Merlin to remove external links um, and change uh, read more button to the link. So we can close the tool tips issue, uh, reformat images to progressive. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Merlin, yeah, if he can confirm that everything is fine there, we can close that one as well. Uh, definitely interrupt, slide, pause, everything that um, Fabio just demoed today, we can close all these issues, definitely. Merlin, did you, uh, what do you think, what, what's the update on progressive G JPEGs? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, I guess, yes, uh, I tried on some, um, a low network, it seems to work, but I am not sure. Uh, so maybe if uh, Fabio can test um, on its own local machine, maybe it could be cool uh, before closing this issue. I don't know. Fabio, I, I think it, it's it, it's safer. I mean, Fabio, are you down to test the test this one? Yeah, I will do it. Awesome. Thanks, Merlin. Good idea here. And uh, did we update the content and help pop-ups? I think that was yeah. Really long, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did it on the last week. Okay. So yeah, a lot of a lot of <clears throat> basically we can close all these issues. Come on, internet, you can do it. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe, Vitor, do you know much about this one? Can we close this one? Mitigate network edges overhead? Is that still... Like, for me, I would close it. I think we are fine, but Santi still wanted to do some, some stuff and he asked to don't close it. I can, I can ask him. Okay. Anyway, then I can ask him and then close today if he says that there's nothing else. That's great. Okay, cool. Uh, in progress, looks like uh, Santi's got a couple things in progress for the charts. I think those are still sitting there, right? Get it, finding the, the good charts. 
I think we can just keep going. I know that's still happening. Uh, interesting, finish results screen, is that done? I saw, it seemed like you did a lot of updates, Fabio. Is, was there anything else that still needed to be there? Why is it assigned to me? Uh, it's an <laughs> oh, I see. We're still waiting for the. Graphic. It's an epic. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe we could uh, just uh, filter the board, removing the epics, sure. and then just look at issues. Sounds good. Thank you. Good idea. Read okay, me. Cool. Uh, the read me's. Those are still going, right? Uh, like uh, the base stuff is there, but I was just. I think we just need to, me and Fabio, sit down and, and align if there's something else. But I think it's pretty much done. If I, you know what, let me make the milestone. Let's start with just public release because I don't think those are requirements for public release. So, uh, okay, so that's still happening. And this is definitely something we need in the sprint backlog the, the good token price. A uh, CAD CAD model to do list. Interesting. Do you have any uh, comments on this one? This, this, uh, this is the old, old, old uh, to do list when I think I mean since it started on the project. Yeah, exactly. So should we? Like, close I think this? Uh, I think so because everything here passed to GitHub issues to like its own issue. Close this. Uh, user testing, find all the small and big things. Let's make all the small issues. Uh, there's a video. Oh, that's right. That was a joke. It's Blink-182. Uh, anyway, uh, Dan, I, Lauren, do you have it? Is this, this is still happening, I assume, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, as things come up, I make issues for them. I, I didn't. I didn't comment on or interact with that at all because it's sort of just like a. It's a thing that leads to other things. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, what should we do with this issue? Do, should we close it, or should we just keep it as I a would, reminder? I, I would keep it. I would uh, close. It. Oh yeah. Huh? Sorry. So, Whatever. I, I, I mean, we can leave it or close it. I don't mind. I would just move it to in progress, so it's just there until we launch, uh, and then we can close it. Sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna remove the public, that one, and so let's see mm -hmm. what else we have. And these are the first two that I just created for Merlin. So I think uh, if Merlin agrees, I would move that to Sprint Backlog for this week. I see Merlin nodding. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, I, I, I can do that in just after the call maybe. <laughs> nice. So, Perfect. That's amazing. Yeah, because these are like really small things. Yeah. Yeah. And once it's you're done, really just move it to the review QA and that's all. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did it. Uh, I just forgot to talk about it. I was more, more focused on no the introduction. But yeah, I did it. Okay, then you we can, can close, close it. Brief. Cool. Oh, it's closed. Amazing. Okay. That's great. That's easy. Man, we get so much done during these board reviews, huh? <laughs> um, okay, just kidding. Uh, think about the graphs y-axis on the results page. You know, yeah. Did we ever get any user feedback? Is this something that we should be specifically asking people? Or how do we gather user feedback on this concept? I, I think that this one came from the discussion that like if we have relative or all of them and yeah. What do you think, Marco? I think this is important. I think this is sort of in a way blocking the like graphical what a good graph looks like so i think it's important that we settle on the shit right now <laughs> yeah um, at least have a path for it to be closed because right now it's like oh let's think about it but like how do mm -hmm. we gather what is right or wrong on this choice 
Yeah, well, to answer first question, gathering user feedback from, from the app itself, I don't know, like, mm, I guess people will just reply to us or send us feedback. Even if we don't explicitly ask, that's the first thing. And then for the graph, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I can give an answer to this one. So may, I, I, maybe I'll leave it to you guys to decide what we do with that. Just make a proposal. Or we go with that and then see how people react to that. Personally, uh, I would like well, to... Oh, go ahead, Vitor. You first. No, okay. No, I was just saying that uh, while I was giving a look on the good graphs, I, like when you have a standard, uh, like your axes are standard, you can compare better. And like if, if you have uh, a chart that goes sort of and keeps like have a small variations and you have relative, it can like small only small variations can look really big variations. And if you have one that rise big. Like you don't have the same standard for comparing, and since we're gonna have the that image for the good one, I think that's that's important to have the same standard. But don't know. My I can I totally agree. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I think that it's a lot easier to decide if you have a good graph or a bad graph if all the graphs are at the same are standardized. So I kind of think it would be nice to start at zero. Any objections? Nope. Cool. Uh, who should I assign this one to? Is Merlin, are you still down to take it? Thumbs up from Merlin. Thanks, Merlin. Uh, da -da. Cool, I added a sprint backlog. And actually, I need, oh, shit. OK. Uh, let's just get this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bureaucratic bullshit slows everything down, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, <laughs> update the README. Uh, I think all these README things are not in the, in the last, like they're not blocking public release. So I don't know that we need to talk about them, although they are important for us showing off our work, right? Is there any objection to that one? Okay, cool. Uh, here we have some new issues. Too many hatchers shown in slider. I thought you fixed this, right? Yeah, on the last week I worked. So like, should I close I mean, it? I, mean, I improved the, the, the hatchers, but I'm not sure if it's okay. I'd like to have like a thumbs up yeah, it's nice. We can close. Okay, so let's let's re have a review. Uh, who who would like to review this one? Uh, I can do. Yeah, Merlin, you want to see yeah. if, if you like it? It sounds good. And it's not so much about reviewing the code, which is your go-to, but just yeah, like just visual. Um, yeah, visual check. Yeah, so I'm gonna see if I'm video. Uh, I put in the review column. So I hope that's cool. Streamline story. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this should be like an epic, I think, not an issue. Uh, it's for the first feedback that we received from a uh, user. Um, my response to that would be it's not blocking the public release and I would let other, I would wait for more feedback from users until we do anything to improve the, the gamification or streamlining. I would say, oh, we lost you for a second there, Marco, but I would say that I have, I, I have seen, I, I got this feedback also from Dan, uh, the, from mm -hmm. the common stack so I, I do think that it is like a the story is super cool and then you pick parameters and it sucks <laughs> yeah like, I know. Like, so um, i don't think i would say that i don't think we need more user feedback but i also like the idea that we don't need it to, to block the release per se. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh um, i'm gonna spend time on this one th uh, think about what we can do to improve that's definitely uh, but as I said, I, I don't want to do major changes before the public release right now. Yeah. yeah. That's all. 
Sounds great. I love that attitude. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we'll put in the product backlog and uh, product backlog. Yeah. Call it a fast follow, even though there's no milestone for that. Uh, feedback on Singular. Oh man, this is so cool. Who is? Oh, this is Radical Exchange. Okay. Positive. Love the design. The intro to be improved. Animated intro. Not a little much. Uh, some text to show. Oh yeah, the text overlapping. Nice work. I already fixed the back button. Yeah. Finally, you should explain that step a bit more. Like, why is it capped at 50%? We got tooltips now. So I guess a little bit it will solve this. Lauren, Lauren did, this, uh, did this make it into the tooltip? Why it's capped at 50%? No, it didn't, but I can, I can write something. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll just assign this. I'll assign this to you, Lauren, and then you can pass it to, uh, to Merlin or Fabio, uh, okay. whoever. whoever you, or I guess Merlin's our tooltip wizard, right? So we'll uh, we'll keep that going. Yeah. I love those birds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really in a magical place. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so <laughs> happy here. Okay, uh, we have another one. Oh no, that's this one. Uh, improved funding pool, good results, graphical explanation, text. Uh, Lauren, did you have something here? This is, oh. When we were talking about this last week, sorry. So this is, I think this is the result page to add um, more metrics information into the actual explainer of the, this is, if I remember right. Uh, I think graph. this is the graph, the good graph. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is what we were talking about at the end and how like, the good graph wasn't so good and that maybe we should explain a little bit more like what makes the graph good. And then you're like, can you just make an issue about this? If this is just what I made. That's great. Uh, well, okay, so let's, let me um, refine the title, I guess. Uh, let's call this uh, or results page. I don't want to say explicitly stated, but I don't have a better word. Explicative? Oh, shit, I don't know how to spell, guys. Okay, explicitly stated. So, uh, does that make sense? I think that was what we settled on, right? That we, we in the, instead of the text saying what the funding pool is, this text is more focused on what metrics Vitor and Santi are actually looking at to judge if, if it's a good graph. Um, yeah, I can, yeah. Uh, I'm just being blocked for getting the, having the shards. Now I have the hundred and something shards and I can just like pass there what metrics you're using to define it. I can put in there and, and define it. There's a like metrics. The there's a metrics spreadsheet, right? That were, or is there an explicit statement of what the metrics are? Is it in Python yeah, code? Yeah, we have a we have a sheet. Yeah, no, we have we have. We have I, can, I can put it there. Okay, um, okay, I'll I'll do that. And then I don't know, maybe maybe you and and um, Lauren could have a quick session some at some time, like just to un really understand and kick out like. The text. Would that, yeah, that would that, that'd be awesome. I would be happy to do sure, that maybe. if I can ask you questions sure. so that I can know it's clearly right. It'd be great. And we, we also have like two similar issues below this one. I guess these are like kind of connected. Maybe we oh, want okay. to check those two as well. 
Okay, cool. Um, okay, so I'm gonna assign this to you, Lauren, is that's okay? And then you can hunt down Vitor and uh, uh, and maybe we'll see if this means we can just close this. Yeah, sounds good. Ooh, almost there, almost there, guys, almost there, okay. Okay, um, improve sentiment, good graph, okay. So I think we can just close these in favor of the one issue, right? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Obviously all three need them. Uh, can someone help me get full access to our Zen hub? Yeah, <laughs> I can do that. That's me. I get to do all the bureaucratic things. Yay. Um. You don't get to see the new issues? Oh. Uh, yeah, I think it's just because I, I didn't have the repo selected. I didn't realize. I think so. I think so. Because you do have full access, I, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, I'm closing this one. If it's a problem, though, feel free to DM me anytime, Lauren, seriously, for anything. Uh, oh, and we have a couple pull requests. Are these, uh, are you looking for a review, Fabio? Yeah, yeah. Just move the two pull requests to the review. Okay, cool. And I assume. Uh, Merlin, you guys are like the dynamic duo over here. Yeah, yeah. He can assign Merlin and assign me on his pull request. Okay, cool. Okay, well, that's, I think that's it then. Um, Marco, did you have anything else that you want to make sure we bring up? No, I think we're all good. Uh, and I just got one one more feedback uh, or suggestion from from a user on Telegram. I think it's Federico, so I'm going to create an issue for that. <laughs> yeah, Federico issues are always good. Okay. That's it. So, so yep. then, um, wow, I would say that we're really fucking close. Should we be able to get this public release out this week? Like, as in, like, next Tuesday, we rally the troops and, and give, try to go for a final thumbs up and maybe, mm, maybe try to push it by that Friday? So like, or, or should we even make it tighter? Should we shoot for next Tuesday for the thumbs up and, and really release it on Wednesday? So that would be like the 24th. What do you guys think? If you ask me, uh, by looking at the issues in the sprint backlog and some of those that are in progress, which most, prob most probably will be closed, today or even tomorrow. And then looking at a sprint backlog, those are like smaller issues. So my estimate, uh, although guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like my estimate this week, this could everything be done. Uh, and like we can launch uh, next week early. Okay. Uh, well, I would say Vitor, I think, uh, I feel like the front end yeah. guys, you know, mm -hmm. they, have, they have a lot of like very clear requirements, but I don't know how clear the requirements are for you on the back end. I think it's pretty clear. Like we had uh, the, the runtime problem, it's kind of solved. Uh, we just have to get the these cards and stuff, but I, I did the, uh, the hardware part. So I think like until the weekend, it's done, like four to five days max, you can, you can close everything in the back end. In the graphs as well, you think that that yeah, would be more? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would need uh, my idea is maybe like 
send you guys like 10, 10 graphs of which 10 possibilities. So probably I'll do this until Friday. So then you can, you guys can like vote on these and we can hit the hammer and the we can run to the next meeting. I like, I, I like it. I, I really like this idea of uh, pushing it on the, on the weekend. I know I can give my thumbs up and have like dedicated focus time on the weekend. It's hard for me during the week, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I mean, if we could push it and try to get everything done by the weekend, uh, except for the graphs, we do the voting on the final graphs because I think adding the graph isn't a technical challenge. It's just deciding the graph, right? Uh, is the technical, is the, is the real challenge. So uh, yeah, maybe we push it, try to get the thumbs up this weekend. And then we, uh, you know, next, next sprint call, we basically bring some drinks and we celebrate uh, while we launch this thing live and do like Twitter massive like outreach and just start like pumping Twitter while we, uh, while we launch the thing all together. That, does that sound like a good plan? Oh, I see lots of micro yeah. nods. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, okay, so this is this is the plan then. Let's let's get this shit done, like ninety nine percent by Friday, and then over the weekend we we push to get the last one percent, and then and and do our final reviews. Get thumbs up. Uh, the process so far has been Danny, Marco, and and me all giving thumbs up. Uh, and then we uh, launch it all together in our sprint call next week. And we uh, do like the marketing campaign, like, well, you know, to make the, the Twitter algo love us when we have so many continents all pushing the same shit, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool. Great plan. Yeah. I agree. Okay, cool. Well then, fuck yeah, guys. We're going to launch this shit this week. That's, I did not see that coming. Nice work. Thank you for all the work you guys put in this last week. Uh, you know, a lot of it is invisible and, you know, it's, it's hard to see, but you can tell that everyone is really putting their heart and soul into this. So, uh, yeah, well, let's end a couple minutes early and, and uh, let's kick ass, get this shit done on Friday and, and finish it, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys, uh, and we'll talk to you. I'll, I'll see you all next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, everyone. everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye.